if, if you stay within like two, three meters from the ledge, you can't get hurt on this side. You're not gonna fall to your death because you can't really, that's worded poorly. You're not gonna die. You might die, but you, you might not not die. But if you fall down there, you're definitely dead. And if you're not dead, you wish that you were. <laughs> All right, peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Oh, look at that. Really beautiful up here. This reminds me of a lot of different places in Alberta. Well, I went looking for more waterfalls and that's all I found. I guess that this entire area has been explored, so I'm not probably gonna find anything new, but I'm currently at uh, Tershishner Falls and the falls keep going upwards into this gorge. And I just spent the last hour trying to come up here. It's super slow. I did maybe a kilometer up this creek. You have to do multiple creek crossings and you're kind of in the bottom of this gorge so there's really no way to avoid it i like doing these little short hikes or you only have like half a day you can come and pick these little hikes that are only a couple kilometers some of these actually give you options of to do other routes in the trail and to see other lookouts and things you kind of maybe missed the first time i also stopped here to record a little bit to give you a little preview of what's coming here this fall and this winter on our channel I've recorded so much stuff and I'm probably a good four months behind so I could literally stop recording right now and I would be releasing videos every week for a while. But we have uh, several backpacking trips that we've recorded. One up Johnson Canyon Creek where we went to Larry's camp and went to Luland Lake and spent a couple days there and explored all of Luland Lake. I also went and spent three nights at Egypt Lake in Banff National Park. I did kind of part of the Healy Pass. And instead of doing the big loop, I just stayed at Egypt Lake and went and explored every single corner that I can. I spent two full days doing like 12 hours of hiking or more, trying to explore every little area for you guys to enjoy. I've also recorded a bunch of different videos for David Thompson Country. We went up landslide lake not to the lake but just to the trail to check out how the shortcut run is for a trail we also went up vision quest it's a super steep hike but it's an awesome scramble that gives you an amazing view of abraham lake we also recorded hummingbird falls when i was there earlier in the year it rained all day and then i had to skip hummingbird falls so now we got that recorded i also recorded the ram lookout which is an awesome spot is like this massive ridge and once you get on top of there you can make it a 10 kilometer hike or you can make it a 25 kilometer hike going from ram falls it's actually about an hour drive these roads are so windy that it takes you a long time it takes you about an hour to do 60 kilometers so those are things you can look forward to for david thompson country so i spent multiple days camping at lake o'hara this summer once in june and then once in September so we got to see the regular spring colors and the regular large season colors so we'll be probably making a huge monthful of just Lake O'Hara and I also returned to Geraldine Lakes to finish my hike that I first did with my kids all the way to the far back and we did all the lakes and went up the meadow all the way to the end and we got to see an amazing view of Mount Fryett the weather did not cooperate but the view on Mount Fryett might be the best mountain view you'll see as a solo summit in Jasper National Park. So we got so many things to look forward to this fall and this winter. I have a whole lot of editing to do to give you guys some content. And I almost forgot, I have four campgrounds that are already recorded that are sitting on my computer that I need to edit to show you guys. In the next week or so, since all the campgrounds now are officially closed, I'll be going back and recording the rest of them. So by 2024, I will have a video of every single campground in Jasper National Park and in Banff National Park, at least the front country ones. And then we're gonna have to start cherry picking on all the back country ones. And then we'll be off to the next park. Well, this is part of the Tushishner Falls here.
in David Thompson country, and I'm Eric Trombley, and these are my adventures. Peace out, everyone. Oh, 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 oh,